uh, it is no, it is sharing your uh, Chrome window. We are seeing ourselves, you know. You have to choose, yeah. uh, go back and choose, uh, yeah, your PowerPoint from the three options. Um, I'm trying yeah. to do that, but. Uh, I think it's okay. okay. I found what, what that. Uh -huh. I found that, uh -huh. yes. Uh, uh huh, uh huh. So, uh, could you see it now, or? Not yet. Uh huh. Uh huh. No, it's coming it's up. Coming. Something. Yeah. Yeah. I think we are okay. there. Yeah. Go on. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you so much for uh, giving me the chance to present uh, my research here. Uh, I want to talk uh, about heat transfer characteristics of non-confined gas medium. And uh, since I can't see the chat uh, section, please uh, ask your question whenever you want. Uh, I can't actually uh, see the uh, part that is uh, actually uh, for the chat. Um, um, first of all, I want to actually explain uh, about the application of the uh, heat conduction in the gas, uh, uh, non-confined gas medium. Uh, one of them is uh, some thermal switch that has been recently in 2018 proposed. Uh, there is some term, uh, pyramid, it's thermal diode actually um, that uh, use the gas non-confined medium. Uh, the other application can be in the field of thermal switch uh, and that control the heat uh, in both direction and uh, the, the other is some uh, actually uh, new one that uh, is called adsorption capillary transition control thermal switch which uh, use the gas phase of the uh, for example, argon, uh, and uh, let the heat transfer in uh, only one direction. Um, beside the application, I think uh, uh, I should explain a bit about the uh, physics of that um, in the beginning. And um, the most important, uh, actually, uh, number that um, we deal with in non-confined gas medium is Knudsen number. It's actually uh, consists of uh, mean free pass divided by uh, characteristic length of the channel um, which define the Knudsen number and based on this Knudsen number we can divide the uh, fluid flow and heat transfer into different regime. Um, actually, you can see the classification here. Uh, for the continuum flow, uh, we can use, uh, actually we can solve Euler equation or Navier-Stokes equation, and even for a slip flow, uh, for um, we can actually use the Navier Stokes with uh, a slip boundary condition when it comes to uh, free molecular uh, flow regime, the heat transfer and fluid flow can be deal with um, actually collisionless Boltzmann equation that uh, that's a form of the Boltzmann equation which we omit the collision part. Um, and uh, about the transition flow, which uh, I have focused, uh, uh, the Bernet equation is um, a possible choice, but uh, besides actually the Boltzmann equation, uh, which governs here also, uh, but um, there's some problem um, about the transition flow um, Actually, rare, uh, rarefaction uh, can be deal with uh, with uh, Bernet equation and Boltzmann equation and this sort of uh, equation that could be solved numerically 
or even uh, analytically. Uh, but there is two other phenomena uh, which uh, can be considered as uh, surface adsorption, uh, the gas adsorbed on the surface of the wall of the channel, and wall force field, which cannot be ideal uh, actually um, which, uh, correctly or uh, actually, how can I say, uh, precisely, we cannot uh, actually model these two phenomena by Burnett equation or uh, Boltzmann equation. Uh, because of, uh, and uh, in order to solve the problem in that, in this regime, transition flow, uh, which is which Knudsen number is, is actually 0 0.1 up to 10. Uh, it's better to use molecular dynamics uh, to uh, solve the heat transfer and. Reza, Reza, I had a question for you. Yeah. Uh, what what is the wall made up of typically? Uh, everything can be made. Uh, some metals. Uh, I have actually. I will uh, actually okay. uh, talk about it okay. in the okay. next oh, slide. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Thanks. Um, so um, this uh, so we uh, use uh, molecular dynamics to actually solve the problem in this uh, region. Uh, the surface adsorption is clear. The gas atoms adsorbed on the surface, but about the wall force field. Uh, wall force field is actually um, the force that penetrates into the fluid um, in the order of one nanometer and uh, can change the characteristics of fluid uh, in that re region. Um, if we uh, deal with liquid, uh, we have density layering that uh, you uh, um, absolutely no um, and hear about that but uh, when it comes to gas there is only one peak in the actually density and the density increased in this uh, one nanometer from each wall in this region uh, the reason refers to the fact that um, when the gas atoms comes uh, actually to this region uh, and uh, collide with the wall um, they actually attracted by the absorbed actually somehow by the force field that uh, wall atoms create and due to that um, the velo their velocity uh, actually somehow uh, decreased and they're accumulated in this region. Um, it, um, it, 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 we could say that uh, somehow uh, the residence time of the gas atoms in that region increases somehow. And uh, so uh, the, our goal was to find that um, uh, how can this phenomena increasing the density near the walls uh, affect the thermal resistance of the gas domain. Um, we use uh, such simulation and uh, actually uh, assign uh, higher temperature to the top wall and lower temperature to the bottom wall. Uh, the gas uh, molecules are free to uh, move and the wall atoms are um, stick together with some uh, a spring somehow and they vibrate they uh, produce the temperature the gas collide with them and uh, the heat is transferred and uh, between these uh, two walls due to actually the conduction um, Reza, sorry for the interruption you are at nine minutes Basically, we have one minute okay. to your official time and then five more minutes for questions. But it's flexible. Go on. Okay, okay. Um, we can see here the actually 
the result of this phenomenon when the temperature difference is applied on the uh, volts. Uh, uh, when it is 200, uh, actually you, we can see that the bottom wall was uh, the cold wall and the upper wall uh, was the hot wall. Uh, it can be seen that uh, uh, when the gas uh, collide the cold wall, uh, actually it lose more energy and it accumulates more near the cold wall in contrast with the upper wall that can be seen that uh, when uh, the gas atoms collided uh, it um, actually gained uh, some more I, energy. I had, a, I had a clarification these are you're doing NVT simulations in this or what uh, NVE? No, it's NVE. It, at this uh, stage, it's uh, NVE, uh, and the um, uh, walls are actually um, Langevin all applied on the walls. Okay, I understand. And the gas is, uh, and no thermostat is applied on the gas. Uh, so it's free to interact energy. Yeah, and uh, this uh, actually density. Uh, profile will lead to such a, a normalized temperature distribution as can be seen here. Uh, usually in the continuum um, fluid mechanics, the normalized temperature uh, are um, the same, the profile is the same and uh, we don't have this difference uh, this is occurred uh, due to the uh, this density uh, difference that occurs near two walls. And uh, the heat flux is also calculated uh, and effect, uh, effective thermal conductivity is uh, also calculated from Fourier's law and uh, we can consider the profile, uh, those uh, temperature profiles, something like this. It has five uh, actually separate region that can be distinguished here. And uh, uh, we actually somehow um, calculated the thermal resistance uh, for uh, each of these parts. Actually, you can see that uh, the lowest uh, value uh, goes for the bulk part, uh, C to D. Uh, it has the lowest resistance and um, the interfacial resistance near the uh, cold wall and hot wall can be seen here. and this uh, um, resistance um, actually uh, goes back to the wall force field region, the resistance that this uh, um, region uh, create itself. So it's actually um, the main parameter that are effective is, uh, one of them is the Knudsen number uh, which clearly can change the uh, characteristics, characteristics of gas medium. The other one is temperature of the wall that can be seen uh, which uh, change the, uh, the temperature of the wall can greatly change the uh, thermal resistance and the other is uh, uh, wall gas interaction parameter uh, we have used in that study we have used some um, uh, simple assumption uh, maybe I can refer to that somehow like to show Reza, we it. have to we have to wrap it up we have uh, okay. one minute to restrict you know, okay time. okay mm -hmm. uh, this assumption was uh, made uh, for uh, um, the first, uh, actually, or first uh, uh, research, and 
and in the others we have changed uh, gas Knudsen number, wall temperature, and wall material. Um, I should actually um, skip them. Uh, and these are the uh, person who, uh, which I have um, uh, worked with them during that project. Uh, about the current project, I have. Uh, I'm working on uh, charged nanoparticle um, in collaboration with Sami Merabia, Ali Rajapur, and uh, Muhammad Hassan Saidi uh, to see the effect of uh, ch charge on the nanoparticle, on the viscosity of the fluid, and uh, interfacial thermal conductance of um, fluid and uh, actually the water so, which is around yeah. that so, so thank you so much for your attention great. great the time is over sure thank you very much for the interesting talk so i guess ali said um, that we leave 30 seconds for the next but we don't have enough time for questions i believe there is one question from the audience i think we better leave it for the break